In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the thermostat on your vintage Johnson or Evinrude outboard. This video applies for many different horsepower ranges from all the way down to four or five and a half, all the way up to 35 or 50 horsepower motors uh, from the 50s, 60s, 70s, or 80s. This is a very quick and easy procedure anyone can do. The part numbers for your year and horsepower are in the video description. Make sure to check that out. Also, make sure to click the subscribe and the thumbs up button if this video helps you out. This is a 1979 Evinrude 6 horsepower and the thermostat is located underneath this cover. This cover is very similar to a lot of years and horsepower. However, on some of the uh, later 25 or 35 horsepower, the thermostat is located near the uh, head, the engine head, or recessed in this general vicinity. This is a picture or a diagram showing you the general location. The first step you wanna do is remove the cover. Once you remove the cover, you wanna make sure that the gasket comes with it. And in this case, the gasket came along with the cover. Here is your thermostat. It might take a little prying in order to get it to come loose, but it should come loose pretty easily. Once you have it loose, just remove the thermostat. Make sure you remove any debris that you find inside of this chamber here. And make sure you clean off these surfaces really well along with cleaning off this surface after you remove the gasket. All three of these part numbers can be found in the video description below. The easiest way I know how to install the top grommet is to slide it from the bottom. Once you have it on the bottom, you can bring the edge up over and after a little patience, you can slide it on all the way around. Once you have the top rubber grommet installed on your thermostat, you can simply slide it back into place, slip the top cover gasket back on, and reinstall the top cover. Once you have everything tightened down, you're good to go. Thanks for watching.